that was a challenge. Never try something new on show night, I think, is uh, where we're going with that. Hi, my name's Matt, Casey Rift, and we are live with Whose Monster Is It Anyway? Tonight we've got a great show lined up with uh, our contestant, Lori Peccia, is returning to uh, design a monster with us. And uh, the other wizard, Danny Lee Grimes, as well as uh, our fantastic artist, Phil Stone, are all here uh, tonight. So, with that, uh, Phil's already got something funny started, so we'll just peek in on him here. Yeah. All right. There we go. We are all looking (laughs) good. (laughs) When are we streaming this, sir, so I can post it? (laughs) Rar. Uh, there. There's the monster. So we go to bed. <laughs> it's a uh, Twitch. Tw- Twitch TV slash Wizards of the Couch. Twitch TV slash Wizards of the Couch. Hi, Phil. How are you? Doing fan fucking tastic. <laughs> did you uh, did you get your um, did you get your uh, spring break extended? Um. Yeah. It's. I don't even know. Uh, to be honest with you, <laughs> I don't even know if say, I have the rest of a semester. We take the grade we got. We don't know. I, we don't, we don't know. know. All I know is I picked up two more books, and I'm doing the um, free RPG day again for uh, Pelgrim Press. Oh, is that right? That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I got four books going on right now. Nice. Yeah. So you were saying earlier that your, kick, your, your Kickstarter's been a little rough? It's been, like, up and down. It's been... I mean, it's totally understandable, but I just quit watching the damn thing. I was like, <laughs> it is what it is. It's like what watching a hot water boil. You just gotta walk away. Dude, the liquor store was like, you were just here. I'm like, I just checked, so I'm <laughs> back for more. Right <laughs> <laughs> is 80% yeah. of my income. <laughs> yeah, what's what's 80%? All right. So we are uh, you might notice that the um video is really fantastic tonight, but the audio Damn. is struggling. So I apologize. How bad is the echo for those of you out there? Is it really bad? Danny, you said, are you saying you hear something bad? Oh, it's horrible. Oh, good. Hmm. Is it just when I talk? Couldn't tell on video. Audio is fine. Oh. Well, not for everyone, apparently. And now Danny's quiet. Wow, Danny's quiet. What's that? Uh. <laughs> Bazinga. Yeah, I can't hear you, bud. Yeah, you're totally not there. Well, Danny, we will do a special presentation of mimes uh, and monsters. So you mime what you want us to <laughs> make. Oh, this is going to be good. First syllable. <laughs> Two First words. syllable. <laughs> yeah. So he was messing with his uh, the new – I was just getting ready to talk about our – our uh, new setup tonight and I think that was what did Danny in you were messing with your NDI settings a second ago did you get something turned off Danny anyway Skype has a brand well it's not even brand new now that I look into it they've got a new setup where uh, you can you can pipe individual streams from in, from a phone call from a Skype call into the stream so you might notice the video is awesome but the sound might be off a little bit um, anyway Let's get this thing started. We're already 15 minutes late. Uh, thank Oops. you for your patience and thanks for joining us. Uh, Lori is our contestant joining us again this evening for another Whose Monster Does It Anyway? How are you doing, Lori? Not so great, I'm huh? Doing- hey, whatever. Wait, hold on. Look, <laughs> I'm making myself a name tag since you didn't make me one. Look, I got a tiny post-it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Come on down. I was, I was absolutely, that was on my, that was absolutely on my list of things to do. And, uh, I, in the last hour, in the last hour, well, I had to rebuild my whole network. Like in the last 60 minutes, I just did the whole, like my network was acting a little sluggish. I'm like, okay, I just reboot the router. It wiped it. It didn't come back. 
So I, mm. I went right up to the wire, like 45 minutes, uh, 7.45, I'm sitting there struggling, trying to get the dang thing working, and finally came back up, so I'm way behind the curve. However, that okay. being said... Twitch.com slash wizards of the couch, correct? I did this There's correct? A... Twitch dot tv slash wizards of the couch <laughs> oh god oh god oh, that got all weird echoey i thought i had the man this is we're just gonna we're just gonna shoot the stuff for a while because apparently i am not at all set up oh no oh god well danny's mic is I think we're refeeding back into it. Anyway, all right. Monsters, that's what we're here for. Scary monsters and super creeps. Lori, uh, you are the contestant for this evening. Did you have anything in mind for, for tonight? <laughs> are we are we are we going to continue where we left off or are we going all new? Uh, it's up to you. Dealer's choice, if you will. Oh. That, never make anything up to me. You should know better right now. <laughs> um <laughs> Let's la let's let's not do tentacles because we did that last time. Right. Uh, okay. I think Streamlist is down. I think Streamlist is down. I'm not able to get to it. Go ahead. You were saying. How about, how about something, something sporty? Maybe. Sporty. 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 Like four e. Is that a word? Not sporty. Not like the spice. Like sporty. Where is Splurgis? <laughs> Yeah, we did the Splurgus a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. We did do that. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Something with great big teeth. Can it be an animal? Sure, sure. Can it be an animal? What was that? Uh, what was that? Yeah, what was that critter on um, on uh, on? Uh, gosh, what was it? The cartoon Despicable Me, that that dog thing on Despicable Me, something like that. Is that what you're yeah, talking yeah. about? Um, no, I'm thinking more Monty Python personally. We should take the Monty Python rabbit with giant teeth and make it way better. <laughs> like make. Oh yeah, 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 like a huge gaping maw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, but with little fuzzy feet. Like, no, wait, wait. <laughs> we should change it to a raccoon because we could just call it a trash panda and let it be fun. <laughs> so, okay. Trash panda with big teeth. Got it. All right. Killer right, rabbits. Yes, I'm liking it. Yep, yep. All right. So, killer trash panda. Got it. Is that is that defamatory? Defamatory. God, I can't talk tonight. Term against raccoons. It looks like a rocket. I, 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 th I think they'll get over it. Yeah. They'll get over it. Okay, there's stream well, we loots. We need it to do um, things that don't make sense for a, a panda with giant teeth to do. Panda. Right. Wow. Trash panda. Yeah, trash panda. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, did I just go to pandas now? Wait. Yeah, I'm like, no, I got raccoons pulled up right now. Let's, uh... Raccoons. Yes. All right. All I've right. I've drawn a raccoon in I don't know how long. So go with your go with your uh, your gut there, uh, Jeff. With we got um, already doing three cards, no effect. Sad Jeffy Panda. Sorry, buddy. I'm working on it. Uh, let's see dashboard. Oh my God, he's cute already. He kind of looks like Baby Yoda a little bit right now. Shh. You watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, it sort of looks like the child right now. All right. Oh, his ears are nowhere big enough for that. He's super cute. And we need him to be really cute, but then when he opens his mouth, just have like... Like... <laughs> but then it's just full <laughs> teeth. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, my gosh. Why can't... Why can't the internet just work for you tonight? Can you pull my video in? Oh, Danny's back. Oh, he's already looking great. And then he's gonna. And then came the teeth. 
date ah. and like make them like super David Bowie circa like labyrinth like teeth like pre getting the grill fixed <laughs> alright so are these creatures small is it a magical beast small is it magical sure, sure. <laughs> that is a giant mouth <laughs> it is a big mouth you have to have little pieces of trash hanging from between his teeth uh, of course of course a little like McDonald's wrapper or something uh, not a McDonald's wrapper. Like, uh. Charm effect, cuteness, charm effect, cuteness, 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 cuteness. Yeah, Is this an NPC or a monster? Um, I think um, it's turning into a familiar. It's into a familiar. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. oh, see, it's Danny. Danny came back. Then we got all echoey. That's okay. It's all your fault, Danny. You know what? If you had a name tag, you might not make it echo. <laughs> <laughs> the same. Um, is it like an Raccoon NPC? Good sneak ability, yeah. Oh, sneaky, yeah. Um, oh, he's a fat raccoon. I like him. Uh. But he has to have, like, night vision. That's for sure. Because, obviously, he's a raccoon. Trash bad dog. Obviously, obviously. Hey, uh, Danny, you might have to unmute yourself. All right, uh, Jimmy, where is the link? I can't find the link to get the dang panel up. All right, he's looking pretty good. We got, uh, I feel like he needs a good sneak and he can eat anything. I agree. He needs to, can oh, eat and will totally eat anything. Can. Like he's, his mouth is even magically disjointed. So he just couches. Is he's that, couches. Is that his source of power? Is the more garbage he eats, the better <laughs> he is? All right, Danny went and got headphones. That's a good start. Can you hear us, Danny? He can hear us. Can you talk? No, you just. Well, he's not going to try. Okay, mind what you'd like us to do, Danny. Huh? I mean, Eating regains hit points. That's good. Yep, I like that. All right, small alignment, unaligned. I'm behind here. I'm going to say he's chaotic. Little. No, he should, he should just straight be chaotic. It doesn't matter what. You know. Neutral, sure. good, evil. I think chaotic would be great. Cause he's like chaotic me. neutral, because he'll just turn on you in a second. If you got a... Yeah! If you got a cheeseburger in your hand. All right. Why under alerts? That is ridiculous. Okay. I was just saying that. How are you connected? Okay. All right. I get it. I get it. I must have accidentally deleted it. Oh. Pen. He wants. Marker. <laughs> He's just going to write it all. And we're going to do it like that in excess video. See? Right? Just That's saying. all full, full oh. circle. Back to, the, back to the NXS. Full circle. Poor Michael Hutchins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, if you are tuning in tonight for the first time, uh, ooh, he eats bombs and diffuses them. That That is awesome. I like oh, that Oh, it goes in his little belly and he just like expands and then contracts. <laughs> little smoke comes out of his nose. <laughs> He's, <laughs> He's uh, literally taking him down. This is great. Uh-huh. Wait, Danny, I didn't read that. What did it say? So, let's see. 
so he can eat bombs and defuse them. I don't. Is that what? useful in D and D? Are there that many bombs? <laughs> <laughs> it depends on well, who you play with, I suppose. Yeah, we'll have to figure out. Maybe it's not bombs, but it's, uh, you know, I don't know. Like alchemical bombs. Sure, there you go. Or, um, oh, God, he could swallow magic missiles. Mm, mm. There you go. Never hit. Yes. That's why he's great to have in your group, because no one could ever use it on you. 1d4 of nothing. There you go. Also, he'd have super high charisma because when his mouth is closed, he's just an adorable little trash panda. Wait, I didn't <laughs> see right. that. Was that say scares what? What scares me about this? Eating. Um. Your vid feed shows correct on stream. Yeah, you're right, Danny. You don't need to flip it. It's showing up. Uh, could stand in the way of spell effects to eat him. I'm getting way behind here. All right, this little trashy panda has a very big maw mouth. Maw. It can maw. and will eat just about anything organic. And or sometimes, otherwise. And sometimes not so organic. <laughs> okay. Hey, it's Danny! It's Danny! <laughs> oh, Danny boy. boy. Yeah, we missed St. Patrick's Day by a few days. Well, I think everybody missed St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. And charm charm and effect. Cuteness, cuteness overload. Within 30 feet, must make a DC 15 wisdom or charisma saving throw. Be charmed or compelled to hug and pet it. <laughs> is it so? Uh, do we feel as though this is a disadvantage to different gendered characters because, like, women and animals are squishy, or do we think that <laughs> any gender would? It's so squishy. That's another reference back to uh, Despicable Me. Um, <laughs> all it's right. so squishy. <laughs> That's right. This guy, I'm assuming this is just like small animal. He's not going to be too tough. What do we think? But if it eats magic mm -hmm. items, gains resistance to the item type or a fix from maybe. Ooh, yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. If it uh, so it gains like if it if it absorbs a spell, gains immunity to that spell type for 24 hours or something. That sounds good. I like that. All right. Although uh, I feel like hit. with a sh shorter period of time, because otherwise he'd be pretty darn invincible. If it, yeah, if it absorbs another one, then it loses the previous one or something like that, right? Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do do um, raccoons have stinky bottoms like skunks? Do they have that ability? Because we could have him <laughs> have a stink attack. No, Danny right. says no. Okay. I think they just I mean, stink in general. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. Natural, so uh, natural camouflage in stinky areas. So this guy's going to be three d four plus whatever con we have. So that's what two and a half, five. Man, he's going to be weak. Yeah, but he's hard to hit because he's teeny tiny. Don't these things often have a little coterie of smaller versions too? Sure. Yeah. A little tribe of them. A tribe of trash pandas. A tribe of trash pandas. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah. Would that be a tribe? What would be? What would be? Oh, let's see what a group of. What is a group of raccoons called? That's worth looking up on the internet. Trouble. That That's what it's called. I think it needs a breath weapon. I think it needs a trash breath weapon. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Weakness to weapons. Yeah. Hmm. Pack tactics for sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm digging it. So nine hit points doesn't matter too much. Okay. It's going to move 20 uh, feet. The internet and, says there are a gaze of raccoons. So it has to have a G-A-Z-E. So it needs like a gaze of some kind of like eye weapon thing. Maybe? Maybe. Oh, I like that. That's good. I did think they have glittering little eyes. Yeah. That's the gaze yes. part, right? 
Yeah. Oh, and they should they should have urban camouflage. <laughs> there you go. They can hide in any urban setting. That's good. I like the breath weapon too. Stinky breath. Stinky breath. And and the way I'm thinking about the mass attack map to make it a little different, it's yeah. it's, like, it's the it, it's the thing's kids. So it's like when you go to the trailer park and <laughs> you're picking on one of them, and suddenly out comes like 18 people, and they're like, "Ah, don't you point that gun at my mom!" Huh? <laughs> Was that called out the trailer? You put trailers in there? That's just wrong. That's so wrong. Hey man, I lived in a trailer park for a long time. I can, I can, I can own it. I had one too. All right, strength non-existent. So we'll do four. Oh, those two are weak to straight, though, dude. Those These guys are be like got a pretty good concept. Gear. This is a this is a dire trash panda. This is a dire raccoon. The dire coon. Dire yes, Miss J Maps, trash breath, exactly. There we go. There's Ooh, some David so, Bowie and tea. I like that. Ooh, so, I'm, I'm, it's almost like kind of got a Japanese demon look to those teeth too. That's awesome. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. The outward facing fangs. The little. Mm-hmm. So it's got a trashy ability that it can that it can breathe on you. It's got a mm -hmm. cuteness ability that it can use to like make social checks. It's got a hide ability as long as it's in an urban setting. And the what's the other thing? The children? The little Yeah, yeah, the, the little pack. Yeah. Me and me and Ma. <laughs> <laughs> me Me and Ma. Me, me and my Ma. All right, me and my ma, trash breath. What was the other thing? Uh, so, uh, I like the Urban cuteness camo. factor, but what do we want to call it? Urban ninja camo. Yeah. <laughs> what did uh, Miss J want to call that? Or no, that was Jeff, wasn't it? What did Jeff? What did you want to call that? The cute thing. We need a clever name for it. What's a clever uh, trash mm. panda name for being for being cute? Like deceptively. Because basically, what it's going to do is it's going to lure you in with its cuteness. So aggressively adorable. There it is. Aggressively, uh, yeah, I'll take that. I like it so squishy, but that's okay. Yeah, too. that's that's good too. That's good too. Uh, what so I imagine squishy. they do is they is they turn on you <laughs> with those manga eyes mm -hmm. that are like but that are like too. dripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With oh, the there you go. Its eyes have the ability. Yeah, to get yeah, really you got big. it. Matt. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. Uh, hey, eyelashes. hey, there Jeff. Jeff, real quick. Do you have any cards uh, you want to redeem and try? Because it should be working. I didn't see it if you did. All right. So squishy. Trash breath. Me and my ma. Uh, and then camo. some sort of ninja camo. Some sort of. Yeah. Uh, hide in plain sight, basically in urban. Like. Wearing flannel, Tra no trash cans, <laughs> dumpsters, under pallets. There it works. Wearing flannel, sewer all hail, all hail Duff. All yeah. hail Duff. If you are curious where that card came from, you can go to streamloots.com slash Wizards of the Couch. And uh, get your own packs, and you can you too can play along. Unfortunately, I didn't have any time this week to. Uh, well, hello, Jeff. I didn't have any time this week to make any um, new ones for the show specifically, but there will be a set coming for Who's Monsters It anyway. For now, they're fairly specific to our Monday night show, but still pretty fun. Plus, there's I guarantee there's still some uh, Danny drink cards in there. So I mean. He what? got pretty messed Why? up on Monday okay, two, night. What? Two things, two things, Matt. You've 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 stepped over the line twice. Number one, you do not need to encourage King Bashman to spend cards. You never need to do that. He's just waiting at the gate. Okay, he's there. And you also you also don't have to point out that that 
he is alone responsible for giving me a Tuesday morning hangover. <laughs> I mean, that's what you get. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. But you had a uh, great time. Hey, that's what scares of... me about this. People have control <laughs> of my drinking. <laughs> hey, there's also a Matt drink card in there, too. Um, all right. oh, 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 Matt drink card, yeah. <laughs> Urban, we need something. Okay, so Urban Camo, but we'll come up with something more clever than that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, All this right, might be a good time, Matt, for me to post about uh, Gary Con. Is that cool? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. In uh, cool. the chat, everybody, is a link to uh, Tabletop Events uh, Conventions Gary Con 12 Virtual Con. Uh, that is going to go on over the same four days as the original um, convention would have gone on, right, Matt? It is, yep. Same four days. Yeah. And uh, that link will take you right to where you need to go uh, to register for events. And if you're a GM and you want to add events, uh, the beauty of the virtual con is that it's not as difficult to schedule things, I guess, because it all can kind of happen simultaneously. So mm -hmm. if you get in a game, please do. If you can run a game, uh, give us a shout out. And we'll be on uh, the Wizards channel for all four days right here on Twitch. We'll also I'll be on Gary Khan's uh, channel uh, simulcasting a lot of stuff as well. And uh, there's going to be some cool stuff. There's cool virtual swag. There's some special offers from the folks at Gary Con. Sadly, had to cancel the con, but they've done a tremendous job stitching back together, uh, along with the help of a lot of people in this community, a, uh, a great virtual convention while we're all on lockdown. So check it out. Yeah, please do. And uh, yeah, we've got a great show, including Whose Monster Is It Anyway? We were going to do it live at the convention, but we'll just have a regular show next Thursday. Um, let's see. So I'm thinking multi-attack. The, cre the creature gets like a multi-attack as long as it's with its pack, right? <laughs> There's a skeleton. <laughs> All right, so I feel like it needs like claws and things too. We're getting there. We're getting there. He, he's We're getting, getting there. there. He's getting there. This one right he's here. Up ahead. Sorry. <laughs> what? Do we, so I don't want to use gaze because like ga gaze is too difficult to fit in there. But how do you want to? It doesn't sound quite right. What else we want? What else we got for a a panda pack? A trash panda pack. Panda pack. Um, a group. What's well, a group of them? Somebody else had a name there a while ago. Gaze. It's a gaze. G A Z E. That's what they're called. What about a gaggle? I like gaggle. Gaggle works. A calamity. Oh gaggle. boy, that is perfect. <laughs> nope, nope. Calamity. Gaggle. Calamity. Oh, calamity. calamity for the win. Fuck yeah. yeah. Is that is that Metcalf? Yeah, it's <laughs> Metcalf. Nice. Thank you for being uh, in our uh, our audience out there tonight, everybody. We really appreciate the uh, yeah, for sure. The the attention. We're probably all starved for it uh, as kids. So here we are making up for it. Each action. All right. So we have a bite. Melee. Go ahead. Oh. What I miss? What I miss? Hey, Alyssa, thank you. That's awesome. Get the cloud. A bamboo of pandas. I do like a bamboo, but I think calamity. We're gonna have to. Calamity's pretty. Uh... When you threaten the mama panda, there's gonna be a calamity shortly after that. <laughs> It's uh, not plus. Is it we'll four plus little two. fingers and a thumb? No, evidently they have five. They have oh. little hands. Aww. Yeah, I just counted on the internet. <laughs> on the internet? It, it on the internet. Be. The internet told me they had five fingers. It, it must be correct. It uh oh, I missed it. I missed it. What was redeemed? What was redeemed? I didn't see it. I scrolled up. I didn't see it. Oh, uh, no, I missed it. Tell me, Jeff. What was it? Oh, now you're going to trust Jeff? <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Matt, what's wrong with you? Both, both of us? Both of us? 
me and Danny. Cheers. Okay, okay, I gotta go get the at least one sec. I want a drink card. Yeah, I'm like, why, where's my drink card? Well, really? yeah. Uh, I don't did get I mention, a name did I mention... tag or a drink card. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> did, so what I need to do is get an audience. Get, need to do is get an audience card in here. Audience drink. An card. audience drink card. Yeah. All right. Hit. Oh, there you go. I am. I am way behind on my. Let's see here. Hit is three. Uh, one D. Actually, yeah, three. Those teeth are legit. They look good. Thank you. You need yeah. like some spittle in there. Like you draw really good <laughs> oozy stuff. Uh, there you yeah. go. You like, just I like my ooze. I like the <laughs> ooze. Right. It's good. To, it's good ooze. I think we need to get that stanky ass fog coming out of that mouth. Trash breath. Trash breath. Oh, I forgot reach. All right, plus four to hit when a calamity of four or more. Reach of, oops, reach of five feet. That's Who, pretty wide did, was there, did I miss another one? That's what she said. Oh. <laughs> Bazinga. Bazinga. Hey, can we, make this, can we make this thing come out of a toilet? Oh. <laughs> That's. <laughs> Ew. That's okay. <laughs> Yes, rent in the trash panda. If you got that reference, you're my friend. Uh, uh, there's not I liquid mean, in that glass? Yes, there is. I... Yes, there is. That's not very much liquid. I what the party. fuck? Hey, what are you drinking? I, I just ran out of truly. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm yeah. whatever's in the fridge. <laughs> it's the apocalypse, and I have to drink all the booze. All right, uh, to to the crowd, cheers, Jeff. Uh, I'm going to get you back for this. All right, um, let's see here. Uh, calamity of four or more. It makes three attack actions. All right, so I think I finally got that. Does that all look good for its actions? Multi attack if it's in a calamity. Uh, it's plus three to hit plus four to hit if it's in a calamity of four or more actually should i say plus one for each of its calamity more than Addition. four there I you like go that, better. that sounds mathy and not too complicated i think uh that breath attack should probably give you rabies you know what, what would be fun is that he used to be or she she used to be a she. pet and has a cute little collar on and has like a funny little <laughs> and it just gets angry at people because it was kept as a pet I like it us. I like it little background story Cora are you coming up? No. Killer, killer trash pandas are always former pets former <laughs> pets <because laughs> totally pandas it just pet. couldn't couldn't take it anymore <laughs> yeah, I couldn't take it anymore. And hey, thanks, Alyssa. That's really generous. I think what, for she sure. You a Damage, let's see, resistance or immunity. Is it resistance, do you think, or immunity to poison and disease? Breath attack is immunity. a mild version. I would immunity? say immunity. Right. I mean, if we're going to give it an immunity, an immunity to garbage is perfect. Uh oh. Oh god, that's not right, is it? Damage vulnerabilities. Is it vulnerable to anything? Breath attack needs to cause nausea. I agree. It's vulnerable the, the death to a vulnerable. bath. Vulnerable vulnerabilities. Baths. Got it. Its owner but tried to give it a bath and it went all crazy rabbit on them and got free. If the if the trash panda is ever dumped dunked in soapy water. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's a version is dawn. <laughs> it's oh no, that's not bad. So it loses its breath att breath attack for twenty four hours or until its next long rest or something for twenty four hours. Well, yeah. Maybe if you brush its teeth, no. So squishy. Uh, 
All right, we got to get working on these special abilities here. So squishy, immune to all disease, got it, Lloyd. Vulnerable to liquids, yes. Vulnerable to bads. And cold attacks, not cold attacks, water attacks. Water not attacks. Really that not really that many water attacks, but that's all right. Um, damage. Yeah, like condition. a water elemental thing, perhaps. Poisoned. Well, that's right. That's true. So it could be vulnerable to it. If you summon a water elemental to fight this thing, it's going to be vulnerable to it. <laughs> a really smart player would be like, hmm, what don't raccoons like? Oh, yeah, being clean. You might have a macgyver we... type player that's being set up. So this is a little bit beyond a dire ra uh, raccoon. Anybody come up with a name, uh, name yet? Vulnerable to trash panda hounds. Oh, trash panda hounds. Yeah, of course. Hmm... We got a name. Uh, we got a name for this thing yet? It will not cross in, in water, will it? I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah, but doesn't it? Doesn't it wash its food? Well, normal pandas do, or normal mm -hmm. raccoons do. A normal, yeah. Trash panda this, says, "Fuck that." This guy didn't have <laughs> time for that. Vulnerability to skeet yeah. green. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there should be a card, Matt. You, a card, you, yeah, you, yeah. Are, you are inserted into the monster description. Oh, there you go. That's that's, that's good. good. I like that. Yeah, that is a good card. We're all vulnerable. Vulnerability, to vulnerability to Skeeter. We're all vulnerable to Skeeter, said Alyssa. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's probably true. <sighs> a trunkle, a trunkle. Ooh, I don't. I like that. A trunkle. That's a pretty oh. clever name. Just because it's funkle, funkle, funky. A calamity of trunkles. It just sounds good. It just rolls off the tongue. Yeah, that actually does sound great. Trunkle is good. I Is it E-L or L-E? E, I put L-E. I, -E. 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 I think it's... Oh, no, no. I I see that. It's totally cool. I, just, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, trunkle. Yeah. <coughs> Travel in calamities. Wow. A group of trunkles is a is God, called a calamity, which consists. I'm going to go all first edition. Consists of two d four plus one. Trunkles. All right. Uh, this is not bad. This is not bad at all. I like it. Uh, so, so squishy. Go and a little, a little crazy here. But what if there's, if at a specific number of them, a calamity, Tr they can do some kind of stand together and make a giant Voltron. Wreck. <laughs> Uh, a calamity of, of six or more trunkles can make the sh take the shape of a medium-sized humanoid. Is that what you're saying? No, like a giant. <laughs> as long as they have an overcoat and a hat. Yeah, like the tails. The tails go over for the eyebrows, and one there you has go. the mouth. <laughs> All right, uh, trunkle funk is the breath weapon. What does that do? Oh, Ten trunkle foot. funk. Very good. 10, 15 foot cone of horrifying stench. Anyone caught in the trunkle funk must make a DC. <coughs> oh, what is it going to be? Small creature. Somebody help me out. Two, ten. I think it'd be 12. DC 12. Constitution, Constitution, save, throw, <coughs> or be poisoned, and what's it? What was the other thing? Nauseated, nauseated, nauseated. Is it nauseated? Is that the nauseated? Is just poison? I think in fifth edition. Nosh, nausea, five e. Nausea is an effect. Now there's looks like there's some house rules for it, so we will take those. 
He's nauseated. so squishy. Help if I spelled it right. Nauseated creatures can't take actions, has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks, and automatically fails saving through. Oh, that's that's a bit beefy. We might have to update that a little bit, but a mega calamity would be a fiasco for sure, for sure. Ooh, that's a what, fiasco. That's actually, that's actually their. Uh, that's actually when they meet once a year, when several calamities meet. Yeah, they have a fiasco. Uh, me and my ma. What would what were we just thinking about the effect for that one? Uh, it's when there's a group of them and they swarm you, as I believe. Trunkle, <laughs> when a calamity of trunkle attack, they what? Gain a bonus to hit for each. And they're um, harder to evade, perhaps. Like. If you're gonna try dodging them or whatnot, that it's more difficult when there's a lot of them. How about they just gain advantage on their first round? Yeah, what he said. Trunkle con. That's that, right. Yeah, it's a trunkle con. Missing a DC. Re missing the DC results in victims smelling like sardines for one d eight days. That's pretty good. Oh, That's pretty good. Gross. I like that. Additionally, I think sar I think sardines should be on a D6 little list, and you can roll oh, sardines yeah. or you know, or you like rotten milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. You got it. You know, oh. corpse, corpse stench, uh, rotting lunch meat. You know, I love sardines. Well, someone has to. <laughs> I mean, they make them for someone. <clears throat> yeah, there's so that's, someone. Yeah. For make them. You make. Them. So what do you think of sardines, Lori? Well, they make them for someone. <laughs> 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 That's great. <coughs> That's great. 1D... Oh, yeah, you're right. 1D3 divided by 2 minus 1. Like, that would actually be more first edition-y. That's right. Um, Wait, that math just broke my brain. What was that? 1D3. I feel like this uh, trunkle needs some sort of, like bony spine down its back so we know that it's b evil. That's cool. Yeah, we used to have... Like, uh, everybody, like, everybody looks at it and they're like, oh, it's a raccoon. And they're like, no, it's fucking not! <laughs> <laughs> or does a little mohawk -y thing with its little spikes and it's like... Ooh, when it's that's even better. Yeah, wait, I can't do it with it. And they go up. <laughs> oh, there you Trumble. go, last laugh. It's got like a so when it's digging through the trash, it has like its spines almost act like a shark. It's got, yeah, it's got, dun 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 dun. It's trash fin. Oh, that's great. All right, trunkle. Uh, what was this camo? Trunkle camo. So what is so squishy? Do? So squishy. From a distance of ten or more feet, the trunkle ah. looks incredibly squishy. squishy and cuddly. <laughs> Whoa! Upside down panda. Oh god! Cuddly, cuddly, cuddly. I feel like it should be able to climb on ceilings. Now that I see it upside down. Yes! Sticky like fingers! Sticky fingers, there you go. Oh yeah, because it's touching garbage. It's got sticky fingers. It works on two levels. That's nice to say about my first ex-wife. Oh. <laughs> oh. Type, oh, type of my, type of my sex. <laughs> ba -ding. As an action, the creature can exude. That's a gross word. Exude. A, is it just does it do something or does it just look cuddly it just a looks bump. cuddly <laughs> oh it doesn't yeah, it does it. The eyes thing I think yeah, I also we should make can, we yeah. should make it it discreet like it looks one way but it smells and acts a different way so all the ways it looks it looks cuddly and cute but all the other senses should be setting off the alarms like man that's a stinky looking evil <laughs> magic eating thing I bet it's a uh, trunkle 
Yeah, so, oh. right, that's what I'm saying. So about from a t- distance of 10 feet or so, you're oh, kind of mesmerizing, oh, like, oh, it's so cute. And then as soon as you get up to it, you're like, oh, my God, don't breathe on me again with your trunkle funk. That's right. <laughs> I think we need to start a band and name it Trunkle Funk. It's a great, <laughs> great term. It's, it and, does, and if we're not, good enough, like if we're not good enough to be in a funk band, <laughs> we can be in a punk band. There you go, Trunkle yep, Punk. There you go. Well, uh, it's actually a new music style. Uh, comprised mostly of uh, instruments made from trash cans. Or the garbage from Any, trash cans. Anytime a calamity of trunkle attacks, they're accompanied by ethereal music. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a mosh pit. It just sounds like a mosh pit for 30 seconds. <coughs> <coughs> Anyone viewing the trunkle? For the first time, the must... trunkle shuffle. The trunkle <laughs> shuffle. A I mean, he's a little chubby decent. panda. He does have junk in his trunkle trunk. He does. Oh, like... <laughs> <laughs> he's got junkle in his trunkle. In his trunkle. Yeah, there you go. God. Yeah, I like the idea that he could probably squeeze through holes that are much smaller than him because he's so greasy and, <laughs> and yeah. disgusting. I'm going to say that would be a good defense also that it's very hard to catch him because he's slippery. Yeah. Slippery like a pig. <laughs> oh. Would it be weird to give him a tiny little pig nose? That would be really yeah, that's not a problem. It's not a problem, but would it make him not cute? It's any creature who fails. I feel like it would make him not nearly as cute if he had a pig should. nose, but maybe not. That's it. That yeah, seems yeah. Like that word's funky. It should be. I just imagine him rooting through. around. He's got to root around in that garbage, like a oh, bad. Oh, he's panda. a little septum ring in it too. A little, like a little naughty panda. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> <laughs> Yay, septum ring! Yes! Uh, <laughs> no. And this is where the shit... See, it is Trunkle Punk! He needs the mohawk. Go. Oh, give him a little mohawk, yeah. Uh, he needs the mohawk. Little tiny, little tiny mohawk right in the middle. <laughs> I just want to once again say thank you to the inimitable Phil Stone for not only being a world-class artist, but being able to do this fucking live and put up with our bullshit. <laughs> Are you kidding? This yeah. is the highlight of his day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I that, did draw a half man, half horse. You should, today, Lloyd. The, you should absolutely. Wait, what were which you half, half man wait. horse? <laughs> <laughs> it's just two legs Tom and a half horse head. Horse, not a half man. <laughs> no, actually, the man's head was coming out of the horse's throat. <laughs> and he was dressed as as the Marquis de Sade. So yeah, that was that's how we Tarsi. started my day at six a.m. Well, Wait, maybe this what? isn't the most fun you had all day. No, I think we yeah we're we're pretty lame. That's pretty. No, I'm, I'm illustrating the um, the entire book of uh, Goetia from the Lesser Keys of Solomon. Whoa. Okay. So nobody's done the entire book before everybody's just illustrated the the 72 demons i'm actually putting all of alistair crowley's work together with the 85 symbols summoning circles and 72 demons it's gonna be launched next month oh nice wow so and it's gonna be a hardcover um uh fabric um little book do we have uh, a link for that not yet i haven't i have not launched it yet i was um still working on how my layout is but yeah it's i think it's 275 pages right now fuck yeah the last publication of it was in 1918 um so it was uh, it just went on the uh the market cool but hey, Matt, galatians go ahead go ahead finish what you're saying no, about it's, a, it, it's it's a fun little book my wife was like just don't say any of the words aloud because we have enough of <laughs> oh, no. we have enough not three times in a row. And we have enough of not a vortex in, a, in the house right now. It's certainly not in a dark bathroom in front of a mirror or something. <laughs> hey, how, how about a reskin of move through the trash? Dumpster diver. 
That's perfect. Oh. I was looking for a good name. I could sense your seeking mind. Uh, this thing looks pro. I love it. Yeah, it does. Uh, let's see here. Dumpster diver. There's Got your, it. your oh, apple core. Oh, how cute. <laughs> There's the apple core. It's like, feed me. Feed me, Seymour. All right. Trunkle funk me. Uh, wait. They gain a bonus to hit for each additional trunkle beyond the first two in a 10 foot radius. First two. How many of these have we done, Matt? Five or six? Eight. Oh, this is eight. 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 Damn, dude. That's what you get for only showing up once every other week, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> How monstrous has the crew put it together? I'd love to buy a compendium. Uh, we have not put it together yet. We were going to wait till we were probably in the 20s or so to put out the first, f first edition, if you will. Um, but yeah, that is definitely a plan that we've got to, to get this uh, into a PDF for sure. Hey, and you know, Matt, not for nothing, I was thinking the other night after we talked uh, about we should do one that is wholly chat directed as like a special yeah, episode. Yeah. And then put the names of the chat people in it. Yeah. 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 Just. I People who've been with us for, for these first eight episodes have been, like, really uh, super loyal. That's awesome because this is the most fucking ridiculous thing ever. Uh, so we appreciate your uh, willingness to go along with us on this ride. And uh, and Matt's just killing it, uh, pulling people together to work on these things. So it'd be nice to have the fans uh, do one, you know. You know, it'd be interesting is if you ran, you ran an actual, like, a four-hour or however many-hour game and threw all the monsters in there. That would be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we that, that's something that's been discussed for sure. Uh, but it's like walk before you run. You know, too many oh, things going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we'd also talked about doing a Mortal Kombat type thing where we just take each one, each but every person gets one of the creatures and they just go at each other like a arena right. style P <laughs> PvP. We'd have to do some uh, CR leveling, but we we probably could do that. Oh yeah, right. You know, not, not oh, for nothing. Just, we could just do... have. I was gonna say you could just have thirty trash pandas against one. Uh, uh, oh my gosh, what I'm forgetting the name, Phil. What was I the uh, bear the bear trap thing? Oh Jesus, I can't. There's oh, a lot. No. Oh no. Pick, pick an animal that was on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. You just adjust by numbers. Um. This is pretty good. I think I caught up pretty quick. Anybody have any problems yeah, with special did. abilities? So squishy. No, I think they look great. Now, uh, if you're out there watching for the first time, and there are several of you, this isn't the final. Like this isn't the final write-up since we do this in an hour. Uh, we'll clean this up for, to be more con more uh, in line with fifth edition rules. Mm -hmm. But it's still pretty fun to do it uh, live, like so. Uh, it needs more senses, doesn't it? Dark vision, 60 feet. It seems like I stopped right there. Trunkle could have a displacer oh. tentacle. Oh, that is a... Wait, tentacles? Yeah, I'm in. No, it's tongue. It doesn't need a tentacle. If it can get up and bite you, it can make a lick attack to displace you. Oh. Ooh. Well, I just like sort of like so you, you make it just like, a displace. It's just a displacer raccoon, and then its tongue. Its tongue acts as the two tentacles for the displacer beast. That is an awesome idea. There you go. And it's even spiked. Maybe feels like you sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, I, Phil. Phil, that's why I said tongue, and I didn't let him keep going down that tentacle road, man. I was watching out for you, brother. Wait, you want spikes on the tongue? Yeah, I was thinking... Cool. Like, I was, I was, suckers! So, you know uh, Displacer Beast, right, Phil? So just imagine this guy's tongue is like a displacer. It can... Like a 10-foot attack. And then uh, I can give it... I love Displacer. That's... It's like a Displacer Coon. Displacer Coon. <laughs> yeah, displacer... Brother. Displacer right. Raccoon. So I that's how it moves through... Is. That's how it moves through trash, maybe. It just displaces. It. Well, no, I guess that's not a movement, is it? It's the ability to. Uh, not but maybe, hit. maybe it can choose. 
it can choose to either displace itself or you. Dang it, Lloyd. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Lloyd, damn you to hell! Razor tongue. I love it. That's it. That's exactly what this guy was missing. Something unique. All right. So jumping back to something we were talking about before, uh, coming up at GaryCon, uh, we're going to be de debuting a new uh, thing for our stream, and I don't have all the details for it yet, but it's basically going to be a similar format to this, except we're designing an encounter and, uh, and drawing a map for it. So what could be kind of cool is maybe using these first monsters as the monsters that we build encounters for and draw maps of their layers of. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, that's a great idea. If um, ties it yeah. all together, it builds. You know what I mean? That'd be it'd be kind of fun. Bleeding. I still and want bad to do infection, cobalt yeah. with you. I still want to do cobalts with you though, Matt. That's got to be the first one. <laughs> a little uh, homage just... to the con to the con that wasn't this year. Yes, man. Fucking. Oh. Pour a little, pour a little on the concrete for your homies. Yep. <laughs> well, if it makes me feel any better, my Cobalt Con game is gonna be run at Gen Con, assuming there's a Gen Con. That that makes yeah. me feel no better, no better. No. Yeah, I don't. Lori, well, tell us, tell us about what you do at Gen Con. <laughs> uh, I don't have enough alcohol to explain my games. So it's, a PG, it's PG 13 here, so just, just yeah, know. it's, it's a PG 13. So, uh, I'll throw about 100 people in a room and uh, just let them kind of MacGyver fun things to kill zombies. Uh, there's usually a theme every year, which is fun. Um, this year, I'm starting a thing uh, called Last Player Standing, and that's what the Cobalt Con game is going to be, where I'm basically going to kill everyone in the room, and the last player standing is well the winner i suppose um but yeah no i do i do large scale games they're a lot of fun there's a lot of booze involved i mean wait no if anyone from gen con is listening there's absolutely no booze involved <laughs> um, and, uh, it's a dry <laughs> game it's dry it's a dry game totally straight edge um yeah it's a lot of fun people just get crazy and let let loose and have a good time and, and it is called oh midnight zombie game oh laura's midnight game i'm sorry we tried to take out zombies so Lori's Midnight Game. Lori's Midnight Game. It is, it is a hoot. A that's for sure. It, was, it started at midnight and then we got old, so now it's a uh, it's uh, the nine p.m. and ends at midnight zombie game. <laughs> so you'll say now it starts at now it starts at six and then we go to Golden Corral. Yeah, basically, <laughs> it started at twelve and then it was eleven and then it was ten and then it was like nine. I'm like, okay, we can't do it any earlier. This is bad. But yeah, then we oh. go out for. For coffee and uh, Golden Corral for uh, dinner. Yeah. That's right. I like the cheese. Uh, yeah, All no, right. it's, it's really good. We have fun. Well, uh, I think with I really like that. After uh, I like the displacement oh, and beautiful. the displacement tongue, I think that's that was perfect. That was a perfect addition, Lloyd. Thank you. Um, oh, but I th cute. think we've got it. We're right out. Even starting late, we're right at about an hour right now. So we've got the yeah. Trunkle, magical magical beast of uh, trashy goodness. Our little trash panda uh, go follows, our, uh, what's it say? A group of Trunkles are called a Calamity, which consists of 2d4 oh. plus 1 Trunkles. Its special abilities are so squishy. From a distance of 10 feet or more, a trunkle looks incredibly squishy and cuddly. Any, anyone viewing the trunkle for the first time must make a DC 14 wisdom survival check uh, or find it irresistible to approach. A trunkle gains advantage on the first attack against any creature who fails this check. Trunkle Funk, a 15-foot cone of horrifying stench. And we'll put a table in here that has a variety of stench effects or stenchy things. But anyone caught in the funk must make a dc 12 constitution saver be poisoned and nauseated which we will, we will add as a third party effect in here me and my ma when a calamity of trunkles attack <laughs> a calamity of trun trun when a calamity of trunkles <laughs> attack they gain a bonus to hit for each additional trunkle beyond the first two present in 10 foot radius uh dumpster diver trunkles use are used to adeptly moving through trash they are not affected by non-magical difficult terrain uh, and we just added the displacement thing, a displacement effect, which is similar to the displacer beast. Uh, the pets of gully dwarves the world over. Yeah, that's spot on. 
Um, all right, so as long as the trash panda, I may take this multi attack out because that's that may be over the top. But I have multi attack in there as long as it's in a calamity of four or more. It gets two attacks. Each trunkle gets two attacks. That makes Ooh. it pretty dangerous. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, uh, and then it's got a bite claw, and now it's razor tongue, which gives it a ten foot reach. So uh, as you start to approach, it's going to try and snag you with its its displacer tongue. Of of uh, and I think somebody was talking about. I think uh, Miss J was talking about adding like a disease. Maybe it has disease or something. We'll see if that can fit in there. Uh, this will uh, be included in our as a PDF to all of our patrons. If you're looking to support us out that way, patreoncom slash Wizards uh, Wizco Games, pa uh, patreoncom slash Wizco Games. Uh, all these PDFs are available there. As uh, somebody was asking earlier, we will have it eventually in a book uh, as well. I think that does it. Lori, you happy? I'm good. He's I've got extra slobber on the side. Yeah, Thank look you. at that. I Danny, Danny, you happy with? You happy? I think this came out pretty good. Every week, I'm like, oh, what, are yeah. we gonna what are we possibly going to do to I top last week? Right, and I would just say that, like, the first half of this, I was like, ah, it just looks like a raccoon. Like, I'm trying to get into it, you know. But then when people started getting a little outside the box, that was really exciting. So I appreciate everybody's suggestions. Lori, you're, like, awesome as always. So it was it was very fun and cool. It's super cool. He's so squishy. <laughs> <laughs> I would not last 30 seconds. I just want to hug all of them. <laughs> Bill, what do you think? I feel like... You could give almost an fun. extra attack to the smaller, like the baby ones, should have an extra squishy cute attack. Or extra oh. squishy cute. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't think of the word, but yes, you get where I'm going. So it's, that's that's, that's so, so, so squishy. Not just so squishy. So, 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 so squishy. squishy. Yeah. So very squishy. All right, folks. Thank you very much. This is Whose Monster Is It Anyway? We're on every Thursday night, or most Thursday nights, uh, 9 p.m. Central on this channel TV, or I'm sorry, twitch.tv slash Wizards of the Couch. Next week uh, will be pretty similar, but we will be in it for GaryCon, or virtual GaryCon. Uh, same time, we will also have streaming content all weekend long as the uh, uh, one of the two official channels for GaryCon, so go check us out uh, there as well. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, we will see you, not Monday, right? No, we don't have a show Monday. Yeah, we'll see you next Thursday at the earliest, uh, and keep your eye on the channel for more shows. Thank you very much, and have a great night. Bye, everybody.